Hey everyone, this is Parko Sathar uh, and today we are continuing with the recurrence relation. Now in this today's session, we will discuss uh, what is a non-homogeneous re linear recurrence relation. In the previous session, we discussed what is a homogeneous linear recurrence relation and how to find its solution. So now we are uh, going towards the non-homogeneous linear recurrence relation. So first, what is a non-homogeneous linear recurrence relation? Now, if RHS, so uh, in homogeneous linear recurrence relation, it was if right hand side equals to zero, then we can say that it is a homogeneous linear recurrence relation. Now, in here, if RHS is not equals to zero, then it is called a non-homogeneous equation and its solution will be non-homogeneous solution. Now, the solution of the non-homogeneous linear recurrence relation is called a particular solution. And the general solution of the non-homogeneous linear recurrence relation is called a total solution. So the total solution, it is what? It is the addition of this homogeneous solution and a particular solution. So that is this AR equals to ARH. So ARH, that means homogeneous. So ARH plus ARP. So that is AR particular. So it is the addition of homogeneous solution and a particular solution and which is called a total solution. So this will be the general solution. Now particular solution for given right hand side. See here according to the right hand side the choice of uh, particular solution will be changed. So let us discuss that. So if f of r equals to this we have total three uh, we have total six cases and according to that we have total six particular solution. So first if uh, right hand side equals to constant then we will choose this p. Then second case if it is a linear function, so it is of the form d0 plus d1r, then we will choose a linear function, then that is p0 plus p1r. The third case, if it is the right hand side is of the form d raised to n, so then we will choose p d raised to n or this p n d raised to n if this fails. Okay, then fourth case, if it is a nth degree polynomial, so uh, the form is this d0 plus d1r plus d2r square up to dn r raised to n. So it is a de nth degree polynomial, then we will select a polynomial of the form p0 plus p1r plus p2r square up to pn r raised to n. Now, an exponential function, if we have an exponential function that is db raised to r, and provided p is not the characteristic root, so we will select this exponential form that is pb raised to r. And in last, if the right hand side is of sine or cos, so sine dn or cos dn, then we will select this a cos dn plus b sine dn. So let us uh, discuss examples. So the first one, uh, the question is solve the recurrence relation. This an plus 2 minus 5 an plus 1 plus 6 an equals to 2. So see, uh, here right hand side equals to 2. So it is not a homogeneous equation. So for that, first we need to find a homogeneous solution and a particular solution and then we will add it. So for that, first, what will be the characteristic equation? See, the characteristic equation will be uh, uh, alpha square minus phi alpha plus 6 equals to 0 as the order is 2. Okay, so the order is 2, so alpha square minus phi alpha plus 6 equals to 0. So what will be the roots? So the, so the roots will be 3 and 2. Okay, so as we have the roots are distinct, so the homogeneous solution will be like this, that is A and H. So A and H, H stands for homogeneous solution and here alpha 1 is 3 and alpha 2 is 2. So A1 3 raised to n plus A2 2 raised to n. So this will be the homogeneous solution. Now we will proceed for the particular solution. So for the particular solution, just consider the right hand side, that is the F of n. So what is F of n here? Here it is a constant term. So the choice of particular solution will be also constant term. So that is P. So let us take a n equals to P for every n. Okay. So a n equals to P. Now in the given question, what are the terms? So the terms are a n plus one and a n plus two as well as a n. So what will be a n plus one and a n plus two as it is constant. So it will be this P. So the substituting this value a n, a n plus one, a n plus two in the given recurrence relation. So what we will get? Uh, we have this p minus 5p plus 6p equals to 2. Okay, so 2p equals to 2. So that means p equals to 1. So hence the particular solution will be a and p equals to 1. Now, so what will be the general solution? So the general solution or total solution will be this 
homogeneous solution plus the particular solution. So that means what was the homogeneous solution? That was A1 3 raised to n plus A2 2 raised to n and plus this particular solution that is plus 1. So this is the final solution. Let us discuss a second example. Find the general solution of this AR plus 2 minus 4 AR equals to R. Now um, by just looking at this, uh, it is a non-homogeneous uh, equation as right hand side is non e not equals to 0. So first we will again find a homogeneous solution. So the homogeneous equation will be just put right hand side equals to 0. So that means AR plus 2 minus 4 AR equals to 0. Now what will be the characteristic equation? So for that, what is the order of the equation? Here we have AR plus 2. So that means K equals to 2. So R equals to, sorry, K equals to 2. So the characteristic equation will be this alpha square minus 4. Alpha equals to plus or minus 2. So the homogeneous solution will be, uh, you can see that the alpha, they both are different. So we'll apply the first case for the distinct roots. So ARH will be A1 2 raised to R plus A2 minus 2 raised to R. So this will be the homogeneous solution. Now we will find the particular solution. Now see, for the particular solution, just consider the right hand side. Okay, so what is the right hand side? Uh, here we have right hand side as R and that is a linear function. So the choice of particular solution according to that table will be this P0 plus P1R. Now that means AR equals to P0 plus P1R. Now just substituting the values of AR. So we will get this P0 plus P1R plus 2. So that is AR plus 2 minus 4 times P0 plus P1R. So that is AR equals to R because the given equation is AR plus 2 minus 4AR equals to R. So just replace R by R plus 2. So now after solving this, we will get this P0 plus R P1 plus 2 P1 minus 4 P0 minus 4 P1 R equals to R. Now, so that is minus 3 P1 R plus 2 P1 minus 3 P0 equals to R. See, now comparing the coefficients. Now we will compare the coefficients. So here, the left hand side, the coefficients of R is minus 3 P1 and right hand side, the coefficient of R is 1. And again, the constant terms are this, this bracket and in right hand side, the constant term is 0. So first, we will compare the coefficients. So what we will get? minus 3 p1 equals to r so p1 equals to minus 1 by 3 now in same manner just compare the constant terms so we will get p0 equals to minus 2 by 9 so therefore the particular solution will be arp we have taken p0 plus p1r so just substitute the values so minus 2 by 9 minus 1 by 3 r okay so this is the particular solution so hence the total solution will be like this this homogeneous solution plus particular solution so just we are adding that so this will be the final solution. Now find, let us discuss another example, find the total solution of this equation AR plus 5AR minus 1 plus 6AR minus 2 equals to 3R square minus 2R plus 1. So as you can see that here right hand side is not equal to 0. So again it is a non-homogeneous equation. So we will first have to find the particular solution as well as the homogeneous solution and we will add that. So first, what will be the homogeneous equation? So I'll just uh, put right hand side as 0. So the homogeneous equation will be AR plus 5 AR minus 1 plus 6 AR minus 2 equals to 0. Now what will be the characteristic equation? Now you can see that here we have R minus 2. So K equals to 2. So the order of the equation will be 2. So the characteristic equation starts from uh, alpha square. So alpha square plus 5 alpha plus 6 equals to 0. So this will be the quadratic equation. Now what are the roots of this equation? So it is very easy. So alpha equals minus 2 and minus 3. So again, for the solution, the roots are distinct. So ARH will be A1 minus 2 raised to R plus A2 minus 3 raised to R. So this will be the homogeneous solution. Now we'll proceed for the particular solution. So for the particular solution, just consider the right hand side. So here, what is the right hand side? So the right hand side is of the form polynomial. Okay, so will the choice of particular solution will be P0 plus P1R plus P2R square. So AR will be P0 plus P1R plus P2R square. Then uh, what will be AR minus 1? Just uh, replace R by R minus 1. So we'll get P0 plus P1R minus 1 plus P2R minus 1 whole square. In same manner, 
er minus 2 just replace r by r minus 2 so we will get this now substitute all these values okay substitute all these values in the given recurrence relation so we'll get like this okay just uh, solve this equation and if we equate the coefficients of powers of r so that means powers of r r square and the constant terms so we'll get 12 p2 equals to 3 and 34 p2 minus 12 p1 equals to 2 and last this equation so after the equating coefficients we'll get these three equations so that means p2 equals to 1 by 4 so solving this equation we will get p2 equals to 1 by 4 then we will get p1 equals to 13 by 24 and p0 equals to 71 by 288 so hence the particular solution is this arp particle solution the substituting the values of p0 p1 and p2 and last the general solution ar so that is the summation of homogeneous solution and particular solution so that will be this in the next lecture, we will discuss the rest of the cases. Thank you.